Okay, Mom, how do you feel about the Burnley Wolves match today? I'm very sad about the match that we lost. Hey, this is Soccer in the South with Wolfman Jeff coming at you. Just finished watching the match of the Wolves at Burnley at Turf Moor. Well, I was worried about the international break. We haven't done well coming back off the break and... Uh, Today, it proves that wasn't, uh, that wasn't just a coincidence. That, that's actually a thing and uh, something we do have to work on. I expect some Wolf supporters are going to point to um, Nuno making changes to the starting lineup. I don't think that's fair because the issues really were stemmed from our whole side, not connecting, not communicating, not working together as a team. Um, those who uh, Traore had uh, started as well as Cav and both of them were fine and yes they were replaced later on and we did bring in our our main team if you will but there really wasn't there was a slight change but not enough to really point that as the problem so the problem wasn't that Jimenez didn't start it uh, we may have done a little better but really looking at it we just weren't connecting especially the first half it got better in the second half uh, Jada was trying to make things happen he was pushing for it but we just couldn't seem to get the ball where we needed to go and it's just uh, that was half of the problem the other problem is this and when I do want to acknowledge this it's important is that um, Burnley deserved this win Burnley played well in particular in the first half and uh, they were organized. Uh, they did communicate well. Uh, their defense shut us down. Uh, their offense kept trying. And uh, they got maybe lucky with the first goal. But, um, but they were where they needed to be. And that's not luck. It's not luck to get the ball right there. And uh, so uh, hats off. Uh, well earned uh, three points for Burnley. And I kept hoping that uh, later on that we were going to get our goals as we tend to get our goals later and it didn't happen and actually Burnley got their second goal and at that point I realized you know I think the best we were going to hope for at that point was a draw and, and it didn't happen. I'm disappointed with the result but I'm not despaired though I think we need to do major changes. I guess one way of looking at this is if we're going to have problems coming back from international play, it's best to get this out of our system now because we have more games we got to go on to. In just a couple of days, uh, we're hosting uh, Manchester United and uh, we need to be up for that. And of course, next Sunday is the FA Cup. Uh, obviously, we need to look at the next match ahead of us. but. If we're going to have issues coming back from international break, let's just get it out of our system and move on. And uh, I think that's important for us. So well played to Burnley. A friend of mine, uh, Nazariah, uh, we talked a little bit of that. And uh, she had said that uh, it was a long time coming uh, for Burnley to get this win. And she was quite pleased. So congratulations, Naz. I know that you are happy. Us in, um, what is it called, Yam Yam Land? Uh, <laughs> which is odd for me to say because I'm over in Alabama. I usually go out on the porch for this, but it's such a beautiful day in Alabama that everyone is out mowing their lawn. And it's just gorgeous, but it's hard to shoot a video that way. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up and uh, because we do have to get our focus now on Manchester United. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if there could have been, I mean, there's probably a million things, little things that may have adjusted and changed it, but I don't think that really would have made the full change. It may have tightened the score a little bit if Jimenez had started uh, because Cavs should be able to carry that through. And the rest of the team, it wasn't necessarily those replacements that were, I, I think, the point to the fact that um, that it wasn't uh, happening. And, and so I really don't pick a whole player. It's the whole side, uh, with the exception of, of a few who kept pushing. Um, and so there's a few bright spots in there. But... They also didn't play so poorly 
that uh, I'm concerned for the long run. Uh, so I think this is a blip. We get the blips, we live with the blips, and we move on. So tell me your thoughts below in the comments. Thank you for watching. My mom did not wear her lucky shirt, so it could be her fault. And I also have one of the people that follow the channel that talks about his lucky underwear. And I, uh, I don't know if he wore that today, so. All right, I really don't really want to know. All right, thanks for watching. This has been Soccer in the South with Wolfman Jeff coming to you. All right, thanks for watching. This has been Soccer in the South with Wolfman Jeff coming to you. I, I hit the table just now. Boom. Funny bone. <laughs>